What's up, man, bros and bro? It's I'm Cowboy95, and welcome to The Walking Dead Episode 4. Now, we have two more episodes to go after this one, so, um, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know, it's been a while I had not played this game. And, uh, pretty much I've been sick lately. So that's why I had been uploading videos and stuff like that. Well, this is like, this is like around, uh, April the 21st. If y'all start watching this, this is happening in like April the 21st. So, um, yeah, I'm just letting y'all. I'm just letting y'all know that. So I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna go right ahead and edit the uh, loading screen. Previously on The Walking Dead. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Now, what the fuck's the problem? Oh, uh, I remember. I don't know much about you. I can tell you, as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow, y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? Give me the gun, Cam. I'll do it. Oh yeah, that's right. The third episode was pretty sad. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. Okay, we'll look for them. I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta like, jump! What? No way! Fine! Look. You stay here and we'll go with your lady! The hell you will! Like I said, I have been editing videos lately. Ah. What the fuck? Shit! So... I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Hopefully everything... Hopefully everything is back in schedule, so I'm just letting y'all know what's happening in my life. <laughs> I know, blah blah blah, the consequences what you choose, da 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 da. Okay. Toto Games presents The Walking Dead. Oh. Never mind. It's not going to say it. Oh, there we go. The walking. Who are you? Episode four, around every corner. I don't know if I name all the episodes from the Telltales. I think I've been naming all of them on this one. Just for a little while, we're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Okay. How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. The stranger. You're fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Okay. It's not safe to stop out here in the open. We need to keep moving. He can rest after we find a boat and get out on the water. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets... Leave him? What? No, that's not an option. We can't... Lady, I've known you for all of 12 hours. You don't get to say we unless you mean just you and him. You know, since this all started, I've seen the best come out of a lot of people and the worst come out of a lot of others. Guess we know which side you came down on. There you go again. 
We. There is no we. There's us, and there's you and your boyfriend slowing us down. You need some help with him? Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks. Oh, meet here. Give me your arm. What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Someone's uh, up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. Hey! Hey, you up there! Damn it, Lee. Keep quiet. You're gonna... <laughs> if I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who is this? Is that you up in the bell tower? What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like Probably a so. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. Oh, there's the trolls. Here's the haters. Run! Everybody, run! I was about to say, I almost forgot about it. Oh no, Lee! I mean, uh, Ken. A little too close, don't you think? No, man, help her! Yep. What? What? He's going to die. We gotta help him. There's no time. We gotta go now. I'll be fine. Just go. I'll get the door. Okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. Quiet. I know they can smell blood. Quit it, the pair of you. Gonna bring more of them down on us. I'll see if I can find a way in. Let's see. I said, let's see, not PlayStation. <laughs> I love you, console, but I didn't say your name. What not? No way we're going to force that open. Not without making a lot of noise, at least. Yeah, I was thinking about uh, smacking it. But oh, that doggy this? door. Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. 
How are you trying it already? I've never heard of a locked doggy door. I have. My neighborhood went just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. All right. I ain't heard that a long time. Where's the dog? Buried. Oh, uh, Chuck has a fucking shovel. Every day. Oh, huh? Okay, cool. The shovel is never not useful. Every day I'm shoveling. Oh, here, that's right. I can't use the triggers to uh, run. I mean, uh, walk hey, faster. Be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be. You know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. What's buried down there? Every day I'm shoveling. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Clem, go over and sit with Krista and Obi, okay? But I want to just do what I say, okay? Just for the safety ness. Kobe Town feels hurt. I just Oh god, the smell. I don't know. Dead people is one thing, but a dog is like a best friend, so this is like a different thing. I can't get it off. Ugh. Okay, that is not cool. Jesus. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're? I said I'm fine. Okay. Yeah, like, we smell something that goes to, I think it goes to the, uh, Miyukoi and you can taste it or something like that. Yeah. Alright. It nothing. It's a weird experience, but. Yes! God damn! Yeah. You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. Mm. It's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can. Huh? Clem, what do you see in there? Good work, Clem. But don't go shooting off like that without asking first, okay? I was just trying to help. I know. And you did good. You just had me worried there for a minute. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. I would say good job, but... It's best to say something. Gets gets people the uh worried. Sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm good. Feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you going to tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? Well? I was going to tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. 
It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. I think we could all use a little time to rest up and gather our thoughts, Kenny. At least until those walkers outside wander off and Omid's feeling better. He best feel better quick. I ain't gonna wait around here too long. Place seems secure at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Yes, sir. Is there anything I can do? Thanks. I got it. Hang out with Chris and Omid until I get back, okay? Lee, I'm sorry. What for? Going through the door like that without checking first? I guess that was pretty dumb, huh? Just ask me first the next time you're gonna outsmart all the grown-ups, okay? Okay. Let's see here. What can we check? Who? Paul of Wine! Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. Yeah. Table. Man, I I just I really like this game, but I wish you can just walk a little bit more faster, you know. Ah. Uh, Wave my head. Sideways. Nothing hiding in here. Oh, are we going to do the same thing with this one? I got a gun! I ain't afraid to use it! Come out! Oh, there's no one in here. It's just a box. All clear in here. Now everybody thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> That's why I had to tell them. It's all clear! Just one more to check. I got a gun! This time I... Oh, look, look, look. Let's, let's look at this. Excuse me. Uh. Alright, I got a gun! This is your warning! Jesus! What? What Stay right it? there! It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. It's something uh, that brings us up to no good. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? <sighs> yeah, I know. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Uh, just some whiskey. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. Wait, does whiskey help the pain? Tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Clementine, Krista asked you a question, and both uh, of us would like an answer. Who have you been talking to? I don't know. He said he was a friend. I'm he sorry. He I... helped me find my mom and dad. I told him we were looking for them in Savannah. I didn't mean to make her nervous. Clementine, look at me. What else have you told this man? Lee? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. I feel like an asshole to Clementine. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I 
can't get him to come down. Stay here. Leave with his booty going on. <laughs> Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, that flies. Oh, Jesus, what the hell is that? What the fuck? Did he try to survive for himself? That looks like duck, don't he? It's yeah. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out of here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it, like I did before. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. Oh, I could just leave. Gift gun to Kenny. Here, I don't want to make. Before he starved. Damn. This is fucked up. Poor kid must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. This could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. I'm sorry. Someone should put him out of his misery. Sue the boot. Like, what's the point of, uh, doing all that? Like, you're just too weak. We should bury him. I'll take care of it. Got that boot mark and shit like that. Ugh. You can see the skull. really slow since I re replay this game again this makes me don't want the uh, zombie apocalypse to happen Because this game makes you think like 
if this can happen to my family and friends and shit like that, and if you're in a tight situation and shit like that, what? Yeah. Oh, what, what does when you look at them? Probably the same thing when he buries him. side of the screen I look a bit pale like I'm telling you this is messed up is that the man on the radio What I say, what I say? Who are you? What the hell do you want from us? Lee, what's going on? I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kenny? I'm fine. Just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing. But the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. We only checked the house to make sure it's secure. We didn't really toss the place. We're low on food, water, meds, ammo. We should make sure there's nothing here we can use before we move out. Well, you search it if you want to. I'm done with this house. We came to this city to find a boat, and that's just what I'm gonna do. Maybe it's not such a bad idea to check the place where I more. said I'm done with this house! We can do both. Ben, you take one last look around the place, grab anything that looks useful, while me and Kenny go down to the river to get us a boat. Wait! Can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know it. It's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? I need you to stay here. Keep an eye on him. He's got Krista for that. If it comes down to it, I can't rely on Krista to do what has to be done. Not with Clementine in the same house. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. You can count on me. Good. I should say keep a cut eye on Clementine or something like that. Huh. 
Okay. Hell on Earth, all over again. Biohazard logo. Chuck, he might be waiting for us around here. Yeah, sure. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What the hell is going on? Maybe whoever's ringing that is just trying to distract us, create a diversion. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. <laughs> Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Kenny man, let's just go back to the house and tell the others. Come up with a new plan. This is the plan! It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. This one might still be salvageable. Better be right about this. I said it might be. Give me a fucking break. I'm a fishing captain, not a miracle worker. <laughs> Why do you have to be so out. mean? You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. All right. Okay, good. I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Become a man bro and bro it today. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.